COVID pandemic, interestingly, has a, a relationship to a loss of a sense of smell. The sense of smell is actually quite complex. My name is Rob Kern. I'm the chairman of otolaryngology at Northwestern University. Typically, uh, patients, if they have a, a cold, an ordinary upper respiratory infection, will often have nasal congestion and a, and a little bit of a weak sense of smell. But it's usually undetected, and usually the flavor of food is maybe mildly off, but it's not particularly bothersome compared to the other cold symptoms. Rarely, maybe one in 100,000 cases, a, a routine cold virus will knock out your sense of smell. It turns out with COVID infections that the numbers are much higher, maybe about 20% of the time, patient will have a dramatic loss of smell. And, and interestingly, in younger patients, this is particularly common. And often in patients, there's no other sign of the virus other than loss of smell. This loss of smell seems to be a significant sign, hallmark of infection, much higher than typical viral upper respiratory infection. The symptoms can develop later where you have more of a common cough and fever, or sometimes just nothing else develops. The, the findings are not subtle. It's, in this case, it's going to be dramatic. The typical courses happen over 72 hours. My advice for, for individuals, until this all gets sorted out over the next couple of weeks, is that if you have an acute loss of smell and the flavor of food is bland, I would, I would first of all contact your doctor in this setting until proven otherwise. Is, is a strong sign of COVID infection. So I would self-isolate until the situation becomes clear. Now, the good news is there's no reason to panic and operate under you know, the assumption that you have the virus. And don't panic. Early information is that it sense of smell and may not come back for a few weeks, but it tends to come back. <laughs>